folks my name is Wajad Karim uh, I am a Google developer expert in Android in Pakistan uh, as an Android developer myself uh, we spend a lot of time on uh, Android Studio and uh, knowing it is uh, very good for your productivity so today uh, I'm going to show you uh, the latest features introduced in Android Studio 4.0 beta uh, remember that this is it's still in beta so uh, you might want to upgrade it to test the new latest features so the first one is about the layout editor um, since in 4.0 beta uh, google has changed the system for the layout editing so now you can see uh, three types for each code split and design so code only shows you the code and uh, split uh, shows you both uh, design and uh, uh, code and design is only for the drag drop and that kind of support if you want it so thing is about uh, layout editor is that uh, it comes in lot of places uh, this editor also uh, supports your drawables like uh, I can see uh, how my drawable uh, vector drawable looks like uh, in split our design and code and uh, uh, this also presents me a very good support of uh, custom drawables uh, with uh, uh, states like uh, uh, i can see that uh, how this will look like when uh, state is checked or how it will it look like when state is enabled so uh, this is very good feature and uh, uh, the best of all is the support of custom views uh, before that uh, we had to manually add custom view in our dummy layout and uh, uh, to see that how will it uh, change when the code is changed so uh, now uh, we don't need to do that anymore because uh, when we are in custom view uh, you can see that I have a class emotional face view extends view so I can directly see how uh, this class will be uh, rendered in uh, real layout so I don't need to add it any uh, dummy layout to see that how this will behave so uh, this is the best of our uh, layout editor in uh, the new Android Studio 4 the best feature of Android Studio 4.0 is uh, multiple previews uh, for example I can see that how my uh, layout will uh, look on all kinds of pixel devices uh, you can see the whole list here uh, you can also see that how this will look uh, for the colorblind people or uh, how this will behave with different phone sizes or uh, you can also add your own custom uh, parameters to see uh, what kind of support uh, what kind of behavior your layout will uh, render on your custom attribute now this is uh, my most favorite uh, feature of uh, the new Android Studio uh, and that is a layout inspector. Uh, you have to first run the application in your device or an emulator. Uh, you can see that I have a running application in my emulator. Uh, then uh, you go ahead uh, in tools and click on layout inspector and uh, uh, choose your uh, process here. Uh, once you do that uh, you can see that all your application UI is reflected on that inspector uh, you can view the changes in real time uh, as I move around the application and uh, uh, you can see the whole uh, layout hierarchy in uh, your, uh, of your application like uh, you can choose the elements and their attributes on the right side uh, from the text size, uh, width height, uh, everything. Uh, you can even see that where the color is coming from or where the string value is coming from uh, and uh, most important uh, you can see your uh, layout uh, in the 3D uh, hierarchy like you can see that uh, which is on top of the uh, text view or what is on below the text view and this is very helpful when you are uh, debugging very complex layouts and uh, uh, you are not sure that why some view is uh, being shown or hidden so uh, this is very awesome feature of the new Android Studio the other feature in uh, new Android Studio is the new uh, entirely redesigned uh, resource manager. Uh, you, you can see all the resources like colors, layouts, map, map, strings uh, in one panel and this is the best. This is very uh, helpful uh, in navigation and searching and in all the stuff like I can see that uh, where are my animations and uh, transitions I don't have to scroll through a whole list of uh, nested uh, folders and uh, directory to see that where my uh, 
drawable is placed and uh, how can I edit it so uh, this is very uh, easy and uh, helpful thing finally uh, I'm going to show you the most uh, amazing feature of Android Studio 4.0 so if you are animation freak or uh, love to play with transition then I'm uh, very confident that you are going to love this uh, so let me open the test layout uh, you can see that I have test layout uh, go to design mode and uh, right click on uh, root and click on convert to motion layout so this is going to convert this uh, into a very interesting layout uh, you might not have seen before so uh, you can see that I have a start state here and end state here uh, just like uh, you would see in any animation software so for example uh, I'm going to uh, move around this cat a little uh, in the end state and uh, now uh, you can select the timeline and uh, click on play and you can see that how easy it was to create a simple animation uh, you can do a lot of stuff with this and uh, you can even control the animations with uh, gestures or uh, with uh, recycler view support and all that you can only play around with this uh, layout uh, in Android Studio 4.0 or the later variants like to share you that uh, I have uh, written a detailed article about all these features on my website vajadkarim.com uh, you can check it out uh, I will uh, put the link on in the description of this video so please uh, don't forget to subscribe the uh, channel and uh, uh, click on like and uh, if you have any questions or queries uh, do let me know uh, which way comments and uh, thank you for watching with this uh, video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it